Hey, Shalom. First of all, I'd like to give all our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Yahweh Kadash. Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Who has taught many truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the eye camera across the four corners of the earth. Who teaches truth from risk to like to do so. It's going to be a quick video. I want to do this edifying. I can get some friends on the one. So, Akim, man, I got interrupted by a call. Again, it's going to be a quick video. Low wellness edifying to you, Akim, um, who hear it, and you, and you sisters that may hear it as well. Let me get a couple precepts, man. Uh, here, going into basically the world hating us, you know, for, for the truth's sake. You know what I mean? And that was part of the contract, if you will, you know, um, like a better word, it's contract um, that we, you know, um, like you come on man goodness that we uh signed when we came into this knowledge you came into this truth so you know when you come in it's like you know you gotta count the costs man and 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 and, and on the flip side of you know salvation and the good things to come we also have the you know that the time where you know the the devil gonna show his horns and these people gonna hate us and one thing about it is that, you know, these people are subject to Satan. So Satan hops on these people. Demons hop on these people, man. You know, these people don't have the name of the Lord. These people don't have, they don't have any, um, you know, they don't have any, uh, like a godly outlook. They, they don't have that, that strong tower to run to. You know, they don't have it. So they're subject to whatever the demon want them to do. You got to keep that in mind. That. That go for, you know, and, it, and it's, that go for your family, that go for your woman, that go for just whomever. That's not in its truth, man, you know? And that's what it is, you know, and that's part of it. And again, man, like I said in my last video, you know, when I heard this knowledge and I heard this truth and I understood it, um, it's my duty as an Israelite man to teach it, you know? Because it is better if you have not known than to know. Let me get that. Know the way right. Oh, it's like yeah. Um, better. Uh, Second Peter two and twenty one. It says, "For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than ap then after they have known it to turn from the holy." commandments delivered unto them okay so it was better if you did not know it man okay as a matter of fact let me it's like you man that's satan man every time every look I, listen man <laughs> i've been low i've been low-key chilling all after working today i've been low-key chilling all day you know what i mean and i'm like as soon as i started I, and nobody called nobody reached out nothing you know what i mean <laughs> You know, and as soon as I got to, to doing a video, everybody want to fucking call. You know what I mean? Even people I don't even talk to on a regular, but like, what the fuck, man? You know, but again, that's Satan, man. It's like it. This is Second uh, Peter 2 and 20. It says, for, if, for if, after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, the knowledge is his truth. Okay? Esca escaping the world. Look, yeah, we're escaping the ways of this world, man. You know, we're escaping the ways of this world. We're escaping the ways of this world, man, through the truth. That's what it is, man. Okay? That's what it is. Because when you receive this knowledge and you understand it, then you got to understand that the way of the world is wicked. You can't walk with it. You got to walk against it. Which you automatically make yourself a prey because we in the midst of fucking wolves, man. We in the midst of people, again, who are subject to sin who are subject to, to willingly doing wrong, man. They don't give a fuck, man. They don't care. Because, like scripture says, since judgment is executed speedily, men are set, set in their ways to do evil. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture. You know? And that's what it is. This is 2 Peter 2 and 20 says, For if they have escaped the for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah Mashiach. They are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. Yeah, because more demons hop up on you, like the scriptures say. 
you know, you end up worse off. That's why it's a, it's a, it's a fearful thing. Let's, let's get that, man. To fall into the hands of the living power. This is Hebrews 10 and 31. It says, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of, of the living power. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fearful thing, man. What, the, the heathen uh, called them what, Alashadia? If I'm not mistaken, is a demon-like power, you know? And if you just get certain accounts like what happened to Nakana, you can read it in the Maccabees, uh, what happened, you know, even in Numbers, uh, with Balaam and Balak, you can read, I mean, there's many examples, but those are two examples you can read where the Lord wasn't playing, man, you know? And with, you know, within those examples, the Lord clearly made a defense for his men, for his people. Same thing in this time. Right. These mother. Listen, these devils, they always, you know, tried to come up against us, man. They always, you know, scripture say Amalek was the first of the nations, man. Right. And that's Amalek is the 1948ers, for those who don't know. Right. Who came against Jake, who came against us, man. They hate us. Right. Let's get this, man. Help. This is Zechariah 1 and 15. It says, I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased, and they helped forth the affliction. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I am returned to Jerusalem with mercies. My house shall be built in it, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, and a line shall be stretched forth upon Jerusalem. Okay? But my point was uh, that they helped forth the affliction. They did way more shit. They really showed their hatred towards us, man. They really and they, and look, they're going to continue to show their hatred. They, they, it's not going to stop. It it don't stop just because, you know what I mean. You know it it, it looked like it's it calmed down and they having their way. No, bro. What here it is? We're we're just telling the truth. We're telling the truth about what what the scriptures say because it's our job, and we're 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 um exposing the lies that's been, you know. Push to the forefront to make this to make this society run like it runs, and yet we're 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 being demonized, right? We're being called a hate group. We're it's it's listed as hate speech and this and that. And really, what it is is that these people are offended at the truth, right? And, you know, and shit. If everyday people that walk by our camp is offended, what do you think the higher ups? You think they're not offended? You think they're not paying attention? You think they don't hear? You understand? Like this is this this is what it is, man. But again, as a Hebrew Israelite man, when I heard the knowledge, I heard the truth. I, it, it's my duty, man. If you fear the Lord, you are gonna teach and preach this word in truth and sincerity, man. You are gonna do. You are gonna get up and you are gonna learn it and you are gonna teach it and you are gonna preach it, man. That's what you are gonna do. Scripture say, uh, and that's what you want. That's the best thing to do. But the, uh, man's goings is of the Lord, man. Okay, that's what it is. Man's goings is of the Lord, man. So if the Lord wants you to get it, you're going to get it. If the Lord don't want you to get it, you're not going to get it. Okay? And so like if I'm jumping everywhere, man, I'm just kind of a little pissed off, man. That people just calling me for no fucking reason. But, uh, oh, let me grab this, man. Uh, lift, I think it's in Isaiah 56. Standard. This is a. Uh, this is um Isaiah fifty nine. And uh, eighteen it says, according to their deeds, according he will repay fury to his adversaries. Our adversaries are the heathen. Okay, it says recompense to his enemies. Our enemies are the are the heathen. You can read that in Psalms eighty three. Okay, it says, to the islands he will repay recompense, so shall they fear the name of the Lord Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. Because right now, they don't fear the Lord. No, no, these people don't think, listen, you, they, you got Jake even still shouting out Jesus Christ, Jehovah and all this, and these are no gods. And yet we've broken down to you the, he, the names in the Hebrew, what they mean, who we are as a people, right? We're proving it to you. And now you got it to where it's like, even heathen are, are like like Vladimir, right? He busts open the books and oh, you saw so-called black images. Oh, now everybody got an ear to hear. 
Not everybody <laughs> paying attention to it, man. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, we've been saying this thing, and, and since we've woken up, since we've since we've woken up, um, since we've woken up, man, uh, this fucking dog is going crazy. Get this is a peepee. -pee. Since we've woken up, you've seen prophecy popping off. You've seen prophecy popping off left and right, whether it's talks of World War Three, whether it's um, um, uh, earthquakes in diverse places, right? You know, missile talk. You know, uh, uh, you know, just you know, things just being brought out on a different level, man. As far as that wasn't happening, you know, back then it wasn't happening, man. It wasn't happening, right? It wasn't. It wasn't happening before the the truth came out. Like I said earlier, I told the brother this. Man, America was flourishing at a point, man, at one point. Let's not forget that, man. This America was flourishing at, you know, from business to cars to this to that. They were, it, it looked to be damn near untouchable, but it was always, it's always been touchable. A wicked nation can never thrive, man. Okay? A wicked nation can never, a wicked generation, a wicked nation, a wicked rulership will always fall. Okay? Because what? Wickedness leads to death. It is what it is, man. Okay? It says, uh, So shall they fear the name of the Lord Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood. The spirit of the Lord Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. So, you know, again, like I said, you know, the Lord will defend his men, man. Now you got some men, you know, that that's going to be martyrs, you know, in, in, that, in, that, in that time. You understand? But, Again, man's goings is of the Lord. The Lord is going, you know, the Lord ain't going to put nothing on you that you can't handle. The Lord not going to put nothing on us that we can't handle, man. Okay? But that's part of it. You got brothers that's going to be delivered. You got brothers' families that's going to be delivered. Brothers' children that's going to be delivered. The one third, man. Like, we, this place is on a fucking, uh, on, a, on, a, on a decline, man. Everywhere, financially, business-wise, the people, the morality, Everything is going down. Everything, man. Okay? It is what it is. And like I said, since the men of the Lord been on the highways and byways, teaching and preaching the word throughout the four corners of the earth, it's almost like rapid. Okay? Yeah, it may not happen on your time, but it's happening. Okay? And like Apostle Tahar said, you know, it ain't going to, like Jake Ludd account slack, and it's like, you know, oh, I'll put it off. You know, I ain't going to see it, but my great, great grandkids and my great, great. No, you're going to see it. It's going to happen now. Right. Look at that shit that's going on in, du in Dubai. Man, I used to see them Ishmaelites. I used to watch some videos, especially coming into the truth. It's, you know, I used to see them Ishmaelites building and, you know, damn near like that's their kingdom over there. Man, they balling right now. That shit underwater, damn near. OK, you see what it is like. Man, we keep the Lord is the is the power of the Hebrew Israelites, man. You know, once we're established, once we're in the kingdom, once we're ruling, we're never going to be overthrown. And all you nations will be in subjection. Whoever got an issue with that, you got an issue with the Bible. Whoever got an issue with that, you got the issue with the Lord. Okay? This is what it is, man. I can go to precept after precept and prove, prove that. Okay? Let me, let me end the video with this. Yeah, this is John 15 and 19. It says, if you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Okay? Again, and the Lord chooses. You don't choose the Lord, the Lord chooses. Okay? If you were of the world, the world would love its own. Yeah, we were wicked. The world, the world would love us. And we was preaching and teaching the shit that the people love in this world, the world would love us. But because you are not of the world, no, we of this truth. But I have chosen you out of the world, and Lord willing, I'm chosen. Lord willing, you should say, I came by chosen. Therefore, the world hateth you. And if the Lord was here now, if Yahweh was here now, you people would hate him. Especially you, you Bible thumpers and you Jesus lovers and all this shit. Man, please. When you start tapping into 
these so-called Bible thumpers and these Jesus lovers and these church goers, you start tapping into, you know, some scripture with them. You you quickly find out how, how much they don't believe, man. OK, so with that, man, loading videos edifying. Lowly Akim got something from this video. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakadash. I'm going to tell you, brothers, keep pushing on to the next. Shalom.